New York Jewish Week. The El Al desk at JFK Airport's Terminal 4 was filled with quiet anxiety Monday as dozens of passengers waited to be checked in. Holding two documents their passports and urgent calls from the Israel Defense Forces. The reservists were preparing to board at least two privately chartered planes to Israel, where they would join the evolving war effort. Since Hamas invaded southern Israel on Saturday and killed at least 1,000 Israelis, the country has called up an unprecedented force of more than 300,000 reservists for what prime minister Benjamin Netanyahu called a massive offensive against the terror group. This call brought Israelis to JFK Terminal from New York City and beyond. Israel's national carrier's check-in operations were less chaotic than usual armies of volunteers were on hand as airline attendants helped the men speed through process. Turns out he dropped off food and equipment and made sure everyone knew where they needed to go. I just think about my team in Israel, said Noam, an Israeli who lives in New York. They've already been summoned together. So I am waiting to join them. Noam, who served in a special forces unit in the IDF, learned Monday morning that he had been called up for reserve duty. At 1300 he was checking the 1600 time. Flight to Israel. Another Israeli man from the city said he was very tired. Like many people waiting in line, he was hesitant to talk to the press for security reasons. A third man had flown in from his home in Kansas that morning. They told us to come here and they would take care of it, he said. Not everyone who tried go Israel on Monday was a soldier going war. Some were simply visiting the United States and hoping return home. Delta Airlines. American Airlines and United Airlines suspended their flights to Israel following travel advisories. From the U.S. State Department. Airlines around the world from Europe and Asia, including Air France and Lufthansa, are also temporarily suspending their flights to Tel Aviv. We're worried about going back, said Shira, who immigrated to Israel with her husband three years ago. The couple who were visiting family in the New York area for the fall Jewish holiday season, had their flight to Israel initially scheduled for Thursday cancelled by Delta. Shira's husband was hoping to leave on Monday afternoon. She found a ticket to leave next week. El Al is still operating its flights. And several WhatsApp groups have sprung up to help reservists outside Israel find their way back into the country. As a one-way El Al ticket costs more than 2000 groups are helping reservists both find and pay for flights. On Monday, another Israeli had come airport to get a refund for his ticket from the airline. He had given up his seat on plane that day because there are soldiers who have go today. He said it was unclear what he would need to do next to return home. Some also came to the airport to help travelers. Boxes and boxes of food for pass.